People love the characters who speak the least. Soundwave from Transformers, Link from Zelda, that guy has gotten by for 30 years saying nothing more than dot dot dot, and with almost zero facial expressions. Just look at Star Wars. The best characters are the ones with almost zero lines. Darth Vader was in A New Hope, a film we once used to call Star Wars, for 10 whole minutes. Boba Fett, total legend all through the films, right up to about 30 minutes into Return of the Jedi. You know that point in the film where he takes a flying, rocket-propelled leap into a giant sand vagina. A giant vagina that lives in the sand. No wonder that thing's a monster. Can you imagine that? But that's in the original version of the films. Lucas has since seen fit to alter the sand monster by adding a giant toothed penis that emerges from its vaginal opening to gobble up its victims. Because in the mind of George Lucas, a giant sand vagina can only be counterbalanced by a giant man-eating penis. Poor Sarlacc. I really don't think you're doing a sand-choked pussy any favours by sticking a cock with teeth in it. Anyway, everyone loves R2-D2, but everyone hates C-3PO. R2-D2 is great, right? But no one has a clue what that droid is saying outside of the X-Wing fighter. I'm pretty sure 3PO is just making it up as he goes along. I mean, who's gonna fact check that shit? In reality, R2-D2 is a short, fat, abusive SOB swearing his head off through the butt of a foul-smelling cigar held between yellowed, clenched teeth. All the while, his one-man entourage just makes crap up to get his own way. Beep! Help! Get me the fuck out of this tin can! Beep! Boop! What's that, R2? You want to go back to the cantina for that lube and oil change? Righto, darling! C-3PO is exactly one innuendo and a handful of sequins away from becoming the Julian Clary of the robot world.